everybody. I'm Christy with Oak Haven Creative Retreat. Today I'm standing on the porch at my art studio and we're getting ready to welcome a group of children to come and learn about nature journaling. This is what this farm is meant for. We want this to be a place where people can come and experience the beauty of nature and make a connection with the peace and solitude that comes from being outdoors. Today, my good friend Jill Walks is here to teach the kids how to nature journal. She's a 4-H teacher and she's passionate about nurturing a love of nature in children. Christy, I think it's important to tell people that want to spend time outside in nature and want to learn more about nature study is that it doesn't just come naturally. I spend a lot of time educating myself kind of on what nature study is. And you think, oh, well, it's just nature study. It's just going outside and studying nature. Well, it really does help to kind of focus on it, study it, figure out what works for you and your family or your students. And I have to say, one of the pioneers for me that really helped me form my concept of nature study is an educator from the 1800s from Great Britain. Her name is Charlotte Mason, and you'll find all of her writings for free online. And she's a great example on how to get started with nature study and nature journaling. I think a positive aspect of COVID was that it sent so many people outside into nature. You had families exploring outside, walking trails, starting to camp that had never done things like that before. But now we're back inside the four walls, the classroom, the jobs, and I just don't want us to forget how important it is to spend time outside in nature. Nature's full of treasures. Treasures don't have to be monetary. Every time you go on a walk, bring back a nature treasure, whether it be a leaf or a piece of moss or a bird feather that you find on the ground. I think when it first came alive to me, Christy, was when I was um, homeschooling my children and we brought a little bitty snail into our kitchen counter and we flipped it upside down and we watched it over about a four minute period just come out of its shell and flip itself back over. And we drew about it in our nature journals and we studied snails. And that just opened up a door of discovery for our family. And that was really the birth of nature journaling for us. And each of my children have a nature journal. And I brought an example of one I recently made. I've gotten into pressed leaves lately. I just think they're so pretty. This little journal cost me nothing. I just used a piece of cardboard from a box the leaves i got off the ground and pressed them between two pieces of cardboard and i modge podge them so that they um, are protected and then i used some scrap pieces of paper cut it to fit my cardboard and tied the pages in with just a piece of scrap yarn we have the table ready to go you can choose watercolors if you would like to paint you can choose colored pencils if you these are just a couple of the books that were in my 4-H nature journaling kit. And um, there's a great program through 4-H called the Junior Naturalist Program. When the kids arrived, we let them loose to explore the farm. The animals were a big hit, especially Emma and Chief, our livestock guardian dogs. Even Bart the goat came to the fence in hopes of getting his favorite treat, hot dog buns. The kids were excited to spot an egg one of the chickens had laid in the dirt. They made their nature journals last week, so Jill suggested they find a quiet place to sit and draw and write about what they saw and heard. After about 15 minutes, we called the children to sit in a circle to share what they'd experienced. I wish I could show you the kids' faces light up as they shared what they'd written, but we decided not to film their faces in an abundance of caution. Nature is very healing, and I think the older I get, the more I realize that, and um, it can really help you physically, mentally, spiritually. Nature, for me, is a place where I can go and meet with God, and He reminds me of how awesome and creative He is. Let's encourage our children to view nature as a treasure and not something to be scared of. So I just want to say thank you to Jill. I thought it was a great afternoon. The kids really seemed to connect. They loved meeting the animals. And um, Jill, what were your thoughts? I loved it. I was so shocked when we let them take their journals and go out and they just, they took to it 
and I wasn't sure how they would respond, but they really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. They did. And they sat really still for a long time. They did. They did a really nice job. So thanks again. You and so I welcome. really appreciate you being our first guest. Sure. And, uh, and holding a workshop for the kids. Sure. So hopefully many more to come. If you're interested in any ways for your kids to get involved in the outdoors, please don't hesitate to contact your county's 4-H agent. Um, we're all over the United States, and they have a lot of great outdoor programs. So thanks, Christy, right. for having Thank me. Thank you. Take care. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye-bye. To really make nature's wonders come alive for kids, check out a microscope kit or activities from acornnaturalist.com.